Hey, I'm attorney Shane Smith with Shane Smith Law. I'm here today with Carrie, one of our attorneys here at Shane Smith Law. And we want to talk about one of our recent client victories. Uh, Carrie, tell us about uh, this case. What happened? JP was driving home with her two friends in the car. She is a nurse in her mid-30s. She um, works real hard and was out having a vacation with some friends. She got rear-ended by a semi-truck with a full load. Wow. Yeah. Talking about putting a damper on your uh, vacation. Big time, yes. She, it was uh, definitely ruined her vacation. She was driving her SUV. It was a smaller SUV. Back end was pretty much crunched in. Um, the back window did not shatter, which I was surprised it didn't shatter with the force of the impact. Yeah. Um, and she gave us a call and asked, her, asked us for some help. Was she at a stoplight or, or on the interstate, or how did, how did the accident occur? Okay. Slowing traffic. And probably because he had a full load too, he probably couldn't stop in time. It takes a lot longer to stop when you're going that fast with that much load. It does. I remember I used to haul horses when I was younger and when you have a truck and then you have a trailer and if that trailer had horses in it, you had to give yourself triple the amount of time because of the weight. Yeah. And what were her injuries? Mostly to the neck. Her back hurt too and she treated at a chiropractor and we saw an orthopedic um, for her neck and back but the neck was really bad. She just couldn't get through this neck pain. And what, what did she ultimately ha end up having to have on her neck to get better? Well, when she wasn't better after about two months with her chiropractic treatment and some medication management, activity modification, you know, i.e. rest, Yeah. Um, they ordered an MRI. Uh, being that she was in her 30s, no prior history of neck pain, they found some bulging disc. Okay. And they tried some injections, which didn't work, and she ended up having to have a, a minor surgery on her neck to relieve okay. the, the pain in her neck. Afterwards, was she able to go back to work? She did. She went back to work. She's working full-time now. Okay. How did the insurance company respond? They actually worked with us um, pretty well in this case. I, because it's a commercial vehicle, it always takes longer for them to accept liability, as right. we call it, because they have cameras all over that truck. They can they can determine exactly how fast that car, that truck was going when it hit her. They they yeah, know they exactly, know everything. They know everything. Say. So. Uh, I was taking a look at her case and it took a while for them to accept liability and pay for her car and whatnot, but we sent the demand. Um, I put all her surgical records and they came back um, with a good offer and we ended up settling her case for oh, just a little bit under $300,000. Okay. How did she respond? She was extremely happy. Uh, just a lovely client, really wanted to get better. She liked her doctors. She wanted to get back to work. She had no previous injuries, so this neck pain was really bothersome to her, yeah, and she was so happy when the surgery helped her. And, and she's she, still able to do all the things nurses have to do, huh? She is. Um, the doctors did a great job, uh, lack of a better term, putting her back together, <laughs> and uh, she's doing great and back to work and happy and was just thrilled with the settlement. Sounds like a, as great a result as you can get on a bad situation. Yeah, she, it, it was a great result. She was very happy and it's always happy. I'm always happy when my client's out of pain and got a good settlement. Well, it sounds like she was lucky to have you as your lawyer. It sounds like you did a great job. Well, thank you. For all our listeners, hit like and subscribe down below for more client victories from Shane Smith Law. And remember, if you're in pain, call Shane, 980-999-9999.